Hey Gemini and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weeklies for December 16th through the 31st. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Geminis. This won't uh, apply to everybody, so if it doesn't, don't make it fit and just try to catch me next time. Oops. Let's see what we got. Let me pull an angel card for you guys first. Let's see if Geminis. Okay, Oops. this could be the one for you, Geminis. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So let's see what you got going on. First row will be you, second row is your partner, third row is the outcome. All right, first card out the gate, the magician. Um, amazing. This, uh, you're manifesting what it is that you want, what you're going after, what it is that you have been hoping for the person that you have wanted. Thank you. Um, could be sending them a message. Um, could be an earth sign you're dealing with. Virgo is what I'm hearing for some of you, or this is in your chart. Thank you. Three of wands is your last card. The person you are dealing with or want to be with, or thinking about, however it fits for you. Thank you. They have the Three of Swords in the reverse, and the Three of Cups in the upright. Wow, Three of Wands, Three of Swords, and Three of Cups. Could be seeing 333 three, three a lot. And then the King of Wands. The outcome of the next two weeks for our Geminis. The Seven of Wands in Reverse. The Four of Swords in Reverse. And the Ten of Cups. Nice. Your guys' overall energy of the reading and the... Sorry, my nose is so itchy. And the shared energy is the Seven of Swords. Clarified by the Hierophant. And the Five of Pentacles in Reverse. Four of Wands is the next card out, FYI. All right. So um, there's either this is you self-sabotaging your, your own happiness, your own thoughts, um, centering around a relationship that you want to come to fruition. Um, this person is somebody who you left in the past or they left you. This is somebody that you are not currently in a marriage or commitment with this is somebody that this was a third party at one time this person here um yeah there was some cheating going on um you were cheating on your partner uh is what i'm hearing for the majority of you and you left somebody out in the cold you you left them in the past this is all past energy um Yeah, You're, the Five of Pentacles, however, is in the reverse, and the Hierophant is in the upright. So I do feel you are going to try to um, move back towards the one that you feel is meant for you, and that is somebody that you um, left in the past to go back to your marriage. This was a third-party situation. You were with them. You left them in the cold and returned to their your marriage, um, and there possibly is still... Um, connection between the two of you, um, physically, emotionally, um, what, whatever, however it fits. Um, Gemini, you are the magician here. You are manifesting and creating what it is that you want. Uh, you have taken a long time to, to, um, try to decide what it is that you want to do. Why is the magician here for Gemini? The wheel of fortune. So yeah, you, um, you're trying to decide whether or not to, uh, move forward with this person to approach this person. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or you're going to do this in the next two weeks. Um, you're going to manifest this relationship with somebody, but you were scared to approach them because they, you know, they broke, you broke their heart in the past. They are over this heartache. They have healed and they have moved forward. Away from this heartbreak. Why is the Three of Swords here for Gemini's partner? Yeah, I just said they moved away from this heartache. And they did. They moved They moved on. 
Why is the Page of Pentacles here for Gemini? The Hermit. Yeah, you have been uh, you have been taking time away for a while now, um, a time away from the world. Like you have retreated and um, are trying to figure out where where do I go from here? And you have uh, you have been enlightened to this connection. Uh, while in that time of silence. Why is the three cups here for their partner? Your partner has the three of cups right underneath that. So um, they were the third party. I do feel this row. Um, but they're moving on with their life. They're celebrating. They're out having a good time with friends, with family. You may get a message from this fire sign. I do believe it's a fire sign here. Um, you may get a message from this person, um, or you may try to message them to let them know that you figured it out in this time of silence, who you want to be with. You are at a distance from this person, Gemini. Um, you feel that, you, that they are your blessing right now. You're physically, um, in different places, but your ships are going to come in. You've, you've worked hard to get to this place and they're, I feel they're just, um, you're hoping they're still there waiting for you. Why is the three of wands here? Yeah, the two of wands. You're at a crossroads and you are hoping that they're still there waiting. Um, you could be traveling to see them in the next two weeks and you're hoping that they will be there. They are the king of wands. They look great. They are sitting um, very well. They moved on from this heartache. They're no longer letting it bother them that you left them in the past. They could be with someone else right now, even. Why is the King of Wands here? But they are, they've been very courageous in moving forward. They decided that they weren't going to, to allow this heartache to take over them anymore. Ace of Wands. There is a new beginning here with this person. This person does want to be with you. This person does love you. They don't have to be a fire sign. They could have fire sign in the chart or they're just very passionate about you. Um, this person has a lot of passion for life. They are creating something at the moment for themselves, for their career, for, for a relationship, whatever the case is for them. But they think about you all the time as well. And um, they are waiting for you to get back a hold of them. They think that you are their blessing as well. In the outcome of the next two weeks, you have a seven of wands in reverse. This is just not being so defensive and you're going to actually stop and listen. You're going to listen to what they have to say. They may have tried to tell you how they felt in the past before and um, you just weren't listening. You were really defensive. You were on guard. You didn't want to hear it because you were worried what they were saying was true. You were worried what they were saying was going to hurt and, and it was going to hurt because it was speaking the truth. But why is the seven of wands here? Yeah, the sun. So um, could be a Leo you're dealing with as well. But you're being guided by the universe to take these steps forward. You're being guided to come towards them to do what you want and follow your own path. Your own path of where you want to go from here. Not, what, not where everyone else wants you to go. Um, and you will be enlightened to the steps you need to take in the next two weeks. There's a four of swords here. The fool. So yeah, uh, when you go within and you heal those hurts and you allow yourself to be enlightened to what you need to do next, you have the amazing energy of just taking that leap of faith. You're no longer going to overthink it or, or think about it at all. You're just going to leap because you know this person is your Ten of Cups. Yep. You know this person is your Ten of Cups. You know that they can emotionally fulfill you. Like I said, this is a heavy fire sign energy. If you're not with a fire sign, I, I would be shocked. And it's probably in their chart, in their moon rising or Venus, if it's not their sun sign. But I guarantee you there's fire somewhere in there because there's fire all over this reading. Um, or you have fire in your chart. But this fire sign uh, could be Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. They're all three here. This person has a lot of passion for you. They're going to come towards you very quickly or you to them. Because you both know that you're each other's Ten of Cups. And you're worried that this uh, person you left in the past is moving on from you. 
And chances are they probably are. And you don't want to lose them. So you're going to make a move very quickly to, um, to try to reconnect with this person. Because you know that they are the one for you. Your advice for the next two weeks, Gemini. The River Queen. Taurus just got this. Um, this is all about letting go. Go with the flow. Um, don't try to... Uh, oops. Don't try to change the course of the river because it won't work. You have to just surrender to the process. You have to surrender and go with the flow. Um, because when you try to fight it, try to go against what is the universe has planned out, you're just going to get tired. You're going to wear yourself out and you're going to become emotionally exhausted. So it's time now just to let things happen the way they're meant to happen and not fight how you're feeling. Go after who you want. You know this is the one. So don't fight it any longer. Allow yourself to move into that path with this person and... Um, and you're going to be so much happier. You're, you're not going to be wasting so much energy trying to stop something from happening that's meant to be. So, Gemini, I hope you have a beautiful two weeks. This is a very positive reading for you. So, um, allow this positivity to come into your life. You do deserve it. Because you feel like, for some of you, you feel like it's too good to be true. But it's not. It's here for you. So, allow it to come in. Allow it to um, take you where it will take you. All right, Gemini's, have a beautiful next couple of weeks. For those of you in, who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I'll see you guys next time.